We're going to open our Bibles to Psalm 96, and I just want to tell you, thank you for coming to choir practice. Look at the title of our message. That's what we're here today to do. There's a reason why we have scripture in the psalm. In Psalm 96, that literally is, it, it commemorates, songs in the Jewish culture would, would commemorate events that took place. This Psalm 96 was part of, through Psalm 98, they're called coronation psalms, and psalms that actually commemorate uh, the freeing from Babylonian captivity. Brother Rodney, would you rehearse for us, let's just... Uh, Let's just go down through verse 13. Go. Father, thank you that we have this time together. And Lord, you have given us instruction. You've given us a blessing just being able to assemble together with brothers and sisters in Christ on our way to heaven together. And Lord, just for this moment and just for this time, we, we want to honor and glorify you in everything that's said and done. In Jesus' name we pray, everybody said, amen, amen, amen. Sing to the Lord. Reckon, reckon we've got anything to sing about? Do, do, you, do you just ponder the thought of the fact that we have an instruction in this psalm to sing to the Lord? Now, if you're to divide your entire Bible and mark the center of your Bible, it actually falls to verse 11. You have equal amount of verses before and you have equal amount of verses after. God, in his matchless wisdom, would give to us, verse 11, when he would say, let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad, let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. That is the center of your Bible. That verse. Now there's a purpose for our coming together today, and I call it just simply a time to sing out. You know, singing that marked every uh, Jewish feast day 
And singing was a part of their culture, is a part of their culture still today. And if anybody on the planet ought to have a song in their heart, it's God's people. God's people. People that know the Lord. And so we come together today reading this psalm and, and it has a, an upbeat to it. it. It actually is a song. If you'll notice, it's, it, it, there's three times we have the word sing used in verses one and two. Three times, sing, sing, sing. And then in verses seven and eight, you've got something else that really preaches real, real good. You know what that is? Everybody look at it. Give, give, give. Sing, sing, sing. Give, give, give. And then in verses 11 and 12, look at that. There's three L-E-T's, let. So you've got sing, 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 give, 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 and let, let, let. And that becomes the real core of the Christian experience on this earth. Once you begin to understand that you've now got a song in your heart to sing to the nations, literally what we do, we are commemorating our salvation experience. How can we sit who are bathed in the full light of the gospel of Jesus Christ, those who have been ransomed, restored, forgiven, redeemed, heaven born and heaven bound and be content to just sit on a pew and sing our songs when millions of people have yet to hear this song. Millions grope in darkness. Millions lie in darkness under the shadow of death with no light or verse in a native tongue. They're wrapped up in delusion, blinded by the God of this world, little g. And they need to be taught this song, this song of hope, this song of salvation, this song of victory, this song that we enjoy. Every song this morning was Christ-centered Every song that we had anything to do with as far as what we sang this morning pointed us in heart and mind to the person and the centerpiece of our salvation. The world that, that we live in today, there are whole nations of peoples around this world that do not know this song. We cannot ignore their cries. And so we need to teach today in this place. We need, to, we need to tell people that they need to go out of this place singing this song. Now, notice the instruction. Oh, sing unto who? Who's the one we sing to? The Lord. And what are we going to sing? This new song. We sing unto the Lord all the earth. Now, folks, listen. This just gets very centered on the person and work of Jesus Christ. But the first thing, the first thing we're given instruction to do is sing of his salvation. We're going to sing his salvation. We're, we're going to, you know, singing is an expression of our soul to the Lord in thanksgiving and honor and majesty to the one that gave us everything. Listen, I'm going to tell you, the greatest event in my life and in my lifetime was the moment that divine life and light was infused in my soul from above when I got saved. <laughs> 11 years of age. By the way, I, you may, I, I don't know if you're picking up on it. I'm a little nervous. I'm just a little nervous this morning because I have sitting in this room People that for the first time, for the first time in the history of the world, I've got, I've got at least three, three fellas that actually I 
go all the way back to my second grade with. They know more on me right now, and I'm nervous because, because all three of them are here for the first time in my ministry. You know who you are. <laughs> well, we've got a history. But we're not going to talk about that, are we? Are we? Don't bring up the past. The Bible says forgetting those things which are behind. No, it, I am blessed because all three of you are here. It honors me to know that you'd, that you'd come. And thank you for that. The Lord brought you. And I appreciate that. But we all have, isn't it wonderful? We're all going to get to spend eternity together. And I know my, my friends that I grew up with, we grew up in a good neighborhood. And there's, there's Danny and Doug back there. They're sitting with their mother, Zelma. And Zelma was, she was just as, uh, she's a godly woman. She brought up her sons and in faith. I know that uh, AC's sitting here and your mama uh, took you to church and, and brother, we, I, I know you're a saved man and, and I know that we all together are going to be in heaven. It's a blessing actually. I'm honored by that. But I'm telling you right now, we've got something to sing about. We got, we got more going on for us. That, and, and so I'm asking you, how about let's just sing unto the Lord this new song, this song of salvation. We've got a song the world cannot sing. But I want them to know the song. And I want them to hear the song. And I want them to know about Jesus Christ. And so this is what we can do. Sing, sing, sing. That's just, that, that's, it's, listen, three uh, is, is, is a good number. It's the number of the Trinity. Sing, sing, sing. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. And then he says, sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation. How often should we do this? How often do you think we ought to sing unto the Lord? How about just every day you're here? You wake up on this terra firma, you wake up on planet earth, this old mud ball called planet earth, you woke up this morning, guess what? You have an assignment to do something. You know what it is? It's not just to punch a clock and be miserable. It's not just to, you know, uh, you're here for a purpose. What is it? To sing unto the Lord. And so wherever you are, and I don't care what the situation is, I don't care what the circumstances are, I don't care what it is that you're involved. Listen, sing unto the Lord. You got a song in your heart, sing unto the Lord. Tell him and be thankful for his salvation. I'm talking about let it go forth from your heart to people everywhere. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Went yesterday, uh, had the privilege of, of talking to the, uh, uh, the, the waiters and waitresses and and, uh, and and wherever we go, we'll try to have our restaurant ministry engaged and we got to hand out tracts. Didn't see anybody get saved. Uh, I did. I did engage one young lady at the at the motel. Uh, at the de she was waiting on us. And this is her words to me. She says, uh, "I'm an atheist." I said, "You know." And she's just so young. And I thought, and, and and yet I got enough out of her. She said, "Oh, I used to. I used to go to the Baptist church." But I I just and I, I know what happened. I know what happened to her. <laughs> uh, she got real, real smart. She went to school. She went to college. <laughs> and that's, that's sometimes what happens, you know. They, they, uh, they, they can take somebody that, that uh, is very, very impressionable, and all of a sudden they can teach it right out of them, and, and they, they swallow it hook, line, and sinker that there's no God. Somebody, somebody, some voice, some professor, some person got in their head and that's what they now so this is just what she's telling us but it's not what she really so I said I, I said I said I, I, I'm not here to confront or, or chat and she said well I'm at work and I really don't want to talk about all that I said I understand but I said would you just do one thing would you take this and just read it just read it and she said she would I, I said nice to her 
that I, I think that she maybe took it, you know, and, and I hope and pray that, she, that the Holy Spirit of God will use that, that track. And, and, and so that's the best I could do for that moment. But I asked her to do one thing. I said, would you just do this? Would you just be open to the possibilities? She says, yes, I would. I'll, I'll do that. So you never know, but pray for her. Uh, and, and there's others. But what I'm saying is sing it every day. Sing this song every day to people all over the place because they're, they're needing the song that you've got. They need the information that you have. And, and don't, uh, don't become so uh, uh, fixed on the temporal that we forget the eternal reason why we're here. I know you can get in a rut. I know, I know it can happen. I know you can get busy and busy yourself out of the day and all of a sudden you look around, I, I didn't sing my song to somebody. I didn't tell somebody. I didn't, and, and I know that can happen. But if you get used to it, if you start opening up to the possibility, Acts chapter 4 and verse 12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name given under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. That word salvation, sing it, sing it, sing it from day to day. And then, and then, and then look what else we're going to sing. Here's, our, here's verse 3. Declare his what? Everybody say it. Declare his glory. Declare his glory. Verse 3, declare his glory among the heathen. Well, this is a missionary song, preacher. I, I, I'm, I'm sensing that, that our song goes to the four corners of the earth, to people that have never heard, to the heathen. They need to hear our song, the Lord's song of salvation. And we're going we're gonna to tell people about his glory. See, this is a missionary song. This is a song of uh, uh, re revealing his glory. Psalm 89, 8. <clears throat> Notice this, Psalm 89. O Lord, God of hosts, who is a strong Lord like unto thee or to thy faithfulness round about thee. Isaiah uh, 50, uh, 46 and, and verse 9. Remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. And, and there we go in, in John uh, 1, 14. And notice this, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his what? His glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and, and truth. And, and then we, we look over at Romans 3, 23. For all have sinned and come short of what? What's the problem with us? What's the problem with people on, on this earth right now? They're falling short of God's glory. You know, that puts us all in the same boat. We're sinners by nature, by birth, and by practice. We need help. And this help only comes from the Lord. There's only one. There's only one Savior. His name is Jesus Christ. That's, that's it. There's no other. And we're going we're to sing unto the Lord uh, concerning his salvation day to day. And we're going we're to declare his glory among the heathen and his wonders among the people. We're going to declare his glory. Look at Luke 2.14. Glory, the angels, glory to God in the highest and on earth, goodwill, peace, goodwill toward men. Hey, glory to God in the highest. We're talking about the glory. And we're talking about his wonders. We're going to sing of his wonders. Psalm 77, 14, look at this. We're going to sing of his wonders. Thou art the God that doest wonders. Isn't this, isn't this something? God that does wonders. Well, I, I'd tell you today that Jesus Christ coming to this earth through the womb of a woman and living 33 and a half years and dying on a cruel cross, he did not deserve to die on that cross, but he willingly went to die for our debt of our sin. I'd call that a wonder of all wonders right there. Thou art the God that doest wonders Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. Look at 88, 12. Shall thy wonders be known in the dark? We're going to keep this, the lights up? No. And thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? No. We're going to, we're going to declare his glory, his wonders. Psalm 107 and verse 24, look at this. These see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the the deep. Listen, I'm telling you. 
A wonderful Savior is Jesus my Lord. A wonderful Savior indeed. He's the wonderful Savior that this world needs. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna sing this. And we're going to sing of his holiness. I, I want you to look at this. We keep going. We, we look at verse 4. Look at verse 4. For the Lord is what? For the Lord is great. I like this. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be what? Feared among all little G gods. There's only one capital G God. One. So verse 5. For all the little g gods of the nations are what? What are they? Wood, stone. Yeah, just graven images. They're idols. But the Lord, he's, he's the Lord, capital L, who made the heavens. He made the heavens. And we're talking about his holiness today, right? We're talking about the Lord and his holiness. So we see this in, look at verse six. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. This is what set our God, our Lord, apart from all others. Honor, majesty, look at this, strength and beauty. Our Lord, our Lord invites us to, uh, to enjoy all this in heaven too. Hello, pretty good, pretty good offer. Anyone in the room uh, going to be disappointed with what God has given them? No way. I didn't say your journey has. Listen, this little this little part called life, this little few steps. That's all we have are a few steps. Did you know that? The Bible says there's but a step between me and death. That's all it is. I'm not guaranteed my next heartbeat. Are you? I'm not guaranteed my next breath. Are you? We have no guarantee, nor lease on life. We didn't sign a, you know, there's no document that says we're going to be here 70 years. I will tell you, I'm a blessed man to know who Jesus is. And any day I have after my salvation is bonus. That's just a bonus. Why'd the Lord leave me here? Well, he has a purpose. I get to enjoy life on planet Earth with a lady named Shirley Jean. Yeah. Lance, good to see you, Shirley. Lance Bennett. Give, give Lance a hand. Amen. I'm telling you. <laughs> Wave at us. We've been praying for this guy. And, uh, but true, Lance, I could go before you. We've said that. You know, I, there's, no, there's no life on this earth is a gift. I don't know. I'm just saying... Uh, that God's in charge of all this. This morning I uh, got word that uh, Joanne Kluver had been visiting, visiting her this week. And, and uh, she, she went home to be with the Lord this morning after having uh, lung cancer. And Vernon and Francis went up to be with Richard Kluver. And so Frances Kluver's with the Lord. She went home this morning. Um, everybody in this room is just temporary. Got to, got to, got to remember that, right? You got to, don't, don't forget it day to day. I'm, I'm not a doomsday preacher. I'm not trying to gloom and doom nothing. In fact, all I'm telling you is this psalm lifts you up. This points you. This gets your head lifted up. Going, thank you, Lord for every moment, every day, and my purpose is defined in these words. And so then we come to verse seven. Remember, give, give, give. What are we going to, you know, in response to sing, 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 <laughs> every Christian has a heart now to give, give, give. And what are you going to give? So here it is. Give unto the Lord. Oh, ye kindreds of the people. You do know I'm your cousin, don't you? no matter who you are. We all came from the, one of the three sons of Noah when they got off the ark, right? So all this bunch is from Arkansas. Because you married your cousin. Yeah, you did. You married your cousin. Might be distant. 
then, then again, might not be too distant. <laughs> when you don't go checking too closely, you're, you're, you know, but that's the truth. Hi, cuz. We're all part of a family. Yeah. So what I see here is we're going to sing, we're going to sing of his holiness. Exodus 15, 11, look at this. Man, there's some good verses. Who is like, here's what, here's what, here's what we find, Moses. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like unto the glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Look at that. I'm telling you, Isaiah 35, 8, you, you see all these, and an highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of what? Holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those, the wayfaring men, though fools, shall not err therein. I'm glad that highway of holiness is available. You see in Luke 175, here we go again, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Hebrews 12, 10, for they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit that we might be partakers in his, of his what? Holiness. Holiness. What else are we going to sing about? Well, this is real important, and I, I'm going to get down to this now. We'll go to the house. I want you to look at it. Verse 13. We go, to, we go to give, 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 right? And now we go to let, let, let in verse 11 and 12. Let the heavens, re verse 11, let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the wood rejoice. Note, and everybody, everybody look at this. I, I don't know if you notice in your Bible. It's one of the rare places. There's a couple of three other places like this, but it's a continuation, even though it's a delineated by verse. Notice there's no period in verse 12 after rejoice. What, right? There's no period. You know what that means? Keep going. <laughs> to, the next, to the next word. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord. There it is. There's the, then we got a colon. Why? For he cometh. We're going to sing about his coming. For he cometh <laughs> to judge the earth. Thank you. For he shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his what? What you have before you is now a song to sing. While you're stationed here on planet Earth, remember the things you're going to sing about. You're going to sing about salvation. You're going to sing about His glory. You're going to sing about His wonders. You're going to sing about His holiness. And you're going to sing about His coming. All these things. Listen, He's coming again. And I'm telling you, John 14, 1 through 3 did you get this? Let not your heart be troubled, Jesus said. Believe, you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will what? Come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. Jesus is coming again. But the next time he comes, and by the way, this is a, this is a psalm to remind uh, of the millennial reign of Christ on earth, when he comes back to rule and reign, he's coming back physically, literally, to this earth at the end of the tribulation period. I'm a, I, I believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. In other words, we're here, and we're going. If we're here, and we happen to be here when the when the rapture takes place, that will be the commencing of the seven-year tribulation period upon this earth. Now, folks, the signs are here. It's very close. I think, uh, I think it, there, I'll just say it like this, and, and I do have it in my heart and my, my mind. I'd love to be here when the rapture takes place. How about you? It's a possibility because Israel is in place. Israel's already 
All, the, the, whole, the whole scenario for the rapture has, every, every prophecy has been fulfilled. Nothing else needs to take place. <coughs> but that tribulation period takes place, place seven years. But this psalm is about at the end of the tribulation period, seven years on this earth, and Jesus Christ is coming back. And he's going to rule and he's going to reign with a rod of iron this earth for 1,000 years. We'll come back with him. Folks, there's your plan right there. Can you sing about it? Let's stand together with heads bowed, eyes closed. Just for the moment, I want you to consider your own, your own life before the Lord. It could be you're here today and that song's kind of, you just hadn't been singing lately. You, you, you kind of you kind of let that song, the music has kind of died down in your heart. The old devil, he's, if, if he can get you to be, get that song silent. Silence the song so the others don't hear it, see it, know about it. Listen, we're here to sing. <laughs> we're gonna sing of, Lord's salvation, commemorating our salvation experience. Can you go back to a time and a place? Are you sure if you died right now, you'd be in heaven? Do you have a song of salvation? If not, you can come get this morning that song put in your heart. The Holy Spirit of God does that. Step out from where you're at right now. We'll take a Bible and show you how you can be saved and know it. We'd be honored to teach you this song. The song of salvation. But Sean, would you sing? Would you just come as the Lord leads. Maybe you'd like to join this church by statement, by letter, or by baptism. However the Lord's leading you today. Just as, just as I am. I am with the but that, that thy blood, blood was shed, shed for me. me, and that thou bid me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Just as I am and wait to not to rid my soul of one dark blood to thee, whose blood can cleanse each part of them of God. Madeline Cade, Madeline Cade was saved uh, at, at uh, youth camp back last July. How about that? She comes today. She wants to follow the Lord and believers in baptism. All those willing to receive her in a membership through baptism. Amen. Say, say, lifted right hand, good hearty. Amen. I'm sorry. All right. Michael's going to take care of baptism today. Michael, if you'll go up, Lori, and I'm so thankful for our youth ministry. Amen. And uh, they're singing a song. Our youth ministry sings a song. Our every ministry of the church sings a song. And we're going to go out of here singing the song of salvation, aren't we? Amen? You've got it in your heart. Go out and sing it. Tell them. Day to day. Amen? All right. We're going to have a song. And we're getting ready for baptism. The ordinance of baptism. Amen? Christ alone, cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love through the storm. He's Lord, Lord of all. My 
my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. the Savior's love through the storm He is Lord Lord of all When darkness seems to hide His face I rest on His unchanging grace in every high and stormy gale my anchor holds within the veil my anchor holds within the veil Christ alone cornerstone weak made strong in the Savior's love through the storm With trumpet sound, oh may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone, for less to stand before the throne. meeting go ahead and tell them what you're gonna do hi hi we're having a meeting about uh, Branson right after I heard voices that All was right. scary what I want to ask is Lance Bennett to lead us in dismissal prayer Amen. Lord we thank you for the wonderful opportunity to come into your house today and worship your holy name uh, to be here with church family and friends and share your love we ask you to go with each and every one as they go through their day today and through their week. Bless and keep each and every one of us. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You are dismissed.